Hello and welcome to Mint. I'm Kaizad Adajania. Recently, Finance Minister Chidambaram directed <coughs> banks to um, redraft the norms for education loans to accommodate management quota students. I have with me over here Mint's Dinesh Unnikrishnan to explain the details. Uh, Dinesh, who exactly are uh, management quota students and what is the issue about all this? Yes. Kaizad, okay, so management quota generally uh, typically refers to, you know, this uh, the management or the trustees or founders of these institutions, they have a portion of seats, you know, who, uh, those seats they can decide whom to give to. Normally what happens is that, uh, you know, they can give, the, uh, they give this, uh, give away these uh, seats to those students, uh, maybe charging a little higher fee as compared to the merit student, those come, come in merit. Now the issue is that uh, just a month back, Indian Banks Association had uh, reworked the entire education loan scheme based on a, an expert panel study headed by Indian Bank Chairman T. M. Bazin. So what they did was to uh, you know safeguard the banking system from any further potential rise in NPAs from such loans, also to clarify the rules to give education loans. So part of it uh, was uh, the, you know they excluded management quota uh, students from the. Uh, eligibility purview of uh, education loans because the understanding was that those students uh, are not necessarily uh, seek admission based on merit and they do not always need assistance from banks. Banks also excluded uh, you know students from certain uh, other categories like nursing colleges and all you know where typically the NPAs are very high from such loans and the chances of getting uh, good jobs so that these students can repay such loans are relatively less. Now the finance minister has asked banks to rewrite those rules, you know, the very rules which they uh, finalized just a month back to accommodate this management quota students. Chidambaram's version is that, uh, you know, these students, if they have the required minimum marks, they can seek, they shouldn't be denied education loans. That is the thing. So have banks, uh, so far, I mean, what's the scenario like? I mean, have they been forthcoming in giving loans to these people? So far? Well, education loans, if you see uh, traditionally, uh, or it generally comes from only public sector space. Private and foreign banks are not really keen to give loans to students. Not very attractive proposition for them. So banks, uh, PSBs have been giving education loans, but in last one year, if you see, the NPAs, the bad loans from such loans, have significantly gone up. Some of the reasons uh, for this was, you know, this uh, students, like I said, in nursing uh, courses or uh, in some of the management quota students who used to get loans under this, you know, they don't do well in their courses and uh, uh, logically they won't get good jobs so that they can pay back this uh, loan. So because of all this, the NPS are rising and it has become a concern for most of the public sector banks like SBA, Canara Bank and Indian Bank, those kind of banks. So uh, now. Uh, the scene is that banks are very clearly reluctant to lend, uh, take further exposure to education loan segment and in fact they are slowly reducing their exposure to this uh, uh, segment. So if that's the case and uh, you know once Chidambaram's uh, directive gets imposed, what are the implications going to be for the parents who seek to get the children admitted in these uh, management quota? Well, for uh, students, uh, it should be a good news because uh, even those who seek admissions under management quota will be now eligible to get loans. Only the banks will have to suffer in case if it doesn't work, you know, from the, their perspective. So overall, the government's uh, idea is to push loans through public sector banks, uh, you know, to uh, students so that it will help many students. Uh, you know, uh, get sufficient finance so, so that they can go for higher studies. But it's too early uh, to say, and even analysts are a little skeptical, you know, to see how effective it will be from a bank's perspective to give loans to this management quota students who are not necessarily like seeking, seeking admission on merit basis. So we'll have to see that. So folks, there you have it. Uh, the new directive may not be very good economics for the banks, but it's definitely good news for the students. To read Dinesh's story, please log on to www.livement.com.